In this new video, I'm going to show you another use case for the checkboxes in Excel. Now, in this case, I'm going to show us how to create advanced conditional formatting using the new rule. And they're going to highlight all the rules where the sales amount is greater than or equal to 50,000 with green cell color. And for all the sales amount that is less than and greater than or equal to 25,000, we're going to specify the yellow cell color. And of course, for all the sales value or sales amount below 25K, we're going to specify the red cell color. So we're going to use the checkboxes to turn off and turn on the values as we choose. So let's see how we can implement the solution. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this, you know, data, control shift down arrow key and control backspace. And of course, I'm going to come to the conditional formatting and choose new rule. Now, I want to choose one of these six set of rules. We want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I'm going to come into this box and I'm going to format values where this formula is true. Now let's see the first criteria, the sales amount that is greater than or equal to 50k with the green cell color. So in this case, I'm going to use the AND logical operation. So I'm going to type in AND. Now this is completely not case sensitive, so I can actually type in lowercase or uppercase. That's fine not case sensitive so open the bracket now the first argument of the and function is the logical test one logical test two and so on so for the logical test one i want to check whether cell d5 do contain a text box now it is very important for me to switch from the absolute cell reference to a mixed cell reference so we want to lock down the column d only not the row number five so i'm going to press f4k okay, one two so put in the comma. So that's going to be the and. So for the logical test two, I'm going to check the sales amount whether it is greater than again f four k one greater than or equal to fifty thousand. So these two arguments must be true in order to format the rows. So if all these arguments are true, I want to apply this formatting. So I want to apply the green cell color. And of course, I can even come to the font and I can bold and italicize and then click OK. You can see the preview, so click OK. Now you can see nothing happened, that's fine. But let's just you know, try and see now this sales amount in cell C6 is greater than 50K. So when I check this box, there we go. You can see everything is highlighted, super cool. I love that. Let me uncheck that. Let's go on, right and down arrow key, control backspace. Now let's walk around the second criteria. So in this case, I'm going to come here, conditional formatting, new rule. Now, of course, this is two and logical operation. And of course, I have to use the and logical test one and three. Okay. So I'm going to come to this box and type in the and, open the bracket. So for the logical test one, I want to check whether this cell D5 do contain a checkbox. Put in a comma. So for the logical test two, I want to check this sales amount F four key one two, and then I want to check whether it is less than fifty thousand. And put in a comma so for the logical test three. I want to check the sales amount F four key one two. Are you greater than or equal to twenty five thousand? So close the bracket. So the three arguments must be true. So I want to apply the format if those three are true. I want to actually apply bold and italic. And of course, I want to choose the yellow cell color. So click OK and then click OK. So let's see the last condition when the sales amount is less than 25K. So conditional formatting, a new rule. Again, use the formula to determine which cells to format. And in the box, I want to use the AND. Of course, I have to use, keep on using the AND because of the checkbox in cell D5. So I want to check whether cell D5 do contain a box. So F4 key 1, 2. And for the logical test 2, I want to check the sales amount. F4 key 1, 2. Are you less than 25K? So if that is true, we want to apply the red cell color. We want to align the row. So click OK and then, oh, let's apply bold and italic. I'm going to come to the font and bold and italic and then click OK. So click OK. So that's done. Now let's check. Now I'm going to check this box. I actually expect the yellow because you can see we have 42,000. It's actually in this range, right? So let's you know check this 
53,166. I'm actually expecting the green cell color because, of course, this value is greater than the 50,000 that we specified. Okay, so that is lovely. Now, let's check all the value that is less than 25k. So, there you go, we have 25k. So, you can actually see that you can actually use the check boxes to control to turn on and turn off the cell color. Let's check around. Let's check the 60k, 629. Click on it. We have the green. I want to check the, let's check the 43,167. We expect the yellow. I want to check the, let's choose, okay, 24,014. We're going to see red. So this is an amazing possibility in Excel with the arrival of the checkbox. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, share with your friends, like, and comment. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.